the farthest distant artificial object in the cosmos, NASA's Voyager 1 probe, is reportedly beaming useful data back to Earth. We can measure the universe even if we have no notion what it is. The famous NASA spacecraft Voyager 1, which was launched more than 45 years ago, has now returned a signal that has shocked the scientific community. Voyager 1 has discovered something so significant that it has changed the path of its mission and is now heading back towards Earth after going over 14 billion miles away from it. Come on this cosmic journey with us. Voyager 1 made a shocking discovery seven minutes ago when it headed back toward Earth. However, what precisely might this discovery be? Could it be a cosmic aberration, proof of alien life, or something even more incredible? We will reveal these startling discoveries in this compelling investigation. As Voyager 1 just made a devastating discovery that caused it to abruptly turn back towards Earth, let's delve into the history of the Voyager twin probes. Two of the most amazing spacecraft ever launched may never have left Earth if certain cosmic occurrences hadn't coincided. The four largest planets in our solar system were the stars that aligned in this instance. These planets were slowly aligning some 60 years ago, a phenomenon last seen in the early 19th century under the presidency of Thomas Jefferson. At first, this unusual planetary alignment was mainly overlooked. In 1965, Gary Flandro, a PhD student in aeronautics at the California Institute of Technology, was the first to realize its relevance at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. During the early days of space exploration, Flandro worked part-time and was entrusted with determining the most cost-effective approach to launch a space probe to Jupiter or even farther out to Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. He carefully charted the orbital trajectories of these massive planets with a basic pencil and discovered something amazing. All four of the large planets would line up for visits in a single mission in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Because of this alignment, a spaceship might slingshot itself to the next planet, cutting down on journey time by taking use of each planet's gravitational pull. According to Flandro's calculations, this alignment would reduce the 30-year trip time from Earth to Neptune to just 12 years. There was a caveat, though. This particular planetary alignment only happens once every 176 years. In order to capitalize on this unique chance, a spacecraft would have to be launched by the middle of the 1970s. NASA created two spacecraft to complete the mission, seizing this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched on an amazing mission to investigate our solar system's outer planets. The launch of the Voyager twin probes on September 5, 1977, was rather amazing because of the planet's alignment and Gary Flandro's forward-thinking calculations. Voyager 1 was launched into orbit at Cape Canaveral, Florida, by a powerful rocket known as Titan 3E or Centaur on August 20, 1977, just 15 days after Voyager 2 was launched. Voyager 1 joined the cosmic journey by taking a shorter path as it set out on its journey into the vast universe. Their main goal was to investigate our solar system's enormous gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn and all of their moons. These daring space tourists, however, exceeded all expectations. They traveled farther and longer than any other spacecraft in history, pushing the envelope of exploration. Throughout their incredible journey, they smashed a number of records. They have traveled farther than anything humankind has ever made, even into an area of our galaxy that is entirely unknown, interstellar space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, these pioneering spacecraft, are now beyond 12 billion miles from Earth. The amazing discoveries they make out there continue to wow scientists, despite their great distance. Most recently, they uncovered an unexpected discovery that caught everyone off guard. More than 40 years ago, the Voyager twin probes accomplished some quite amazing things. Scientists were astounded by their close examination of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These moons, which were once thought to be as barren and speckled as our own, were instead hive centers of activity. In 1986, Voyager 2 created history by being the first of the twins to swing past Uranus. Three years later, it accomplished a feat that no previous spacecraft had been able to match. It sped past Neptune. NASA used some ingenious tactics to make sure these spacecraft remained working while they continued their amazing voyage. To save energy, they have turned off non-essential elements like heaters and spare parts. 
the plan is to maintain the spacecraft in good operating order through at least 2013. It's a mixed bag of emotions for the committed scientists and engineers who have been a part of this incredible journey since its beginning. Their perseverance has paid off, for just when they believed the Voyager missions were coming to an end, an incredible finding from deep space was made. Data transmission and discovery on Voyager won four decades ago at the beginning of their amazing journey. The Voyager spacecraft stunned scientists by giving them the first ever up-close views of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These moons proved to be colorful planets, contrary to scientists' initial belief that they were boring and extensively pockmarked like our own moon. Just 546 days after launch in March 1979, Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter. That same year in July, Voyager 2, on a slightly different route, arrived. The Viticon cameras on board both spacecraft employed filters to produce full-color photographs. It's interesting to note that despite spinning through space at a speed more than 15 times slower than a clock's hour hand, they were intended to be quite stable. This guaranteed that the pictures they took were crisp and clear. The Voyagers captured over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons during their journey, each of which revealed fresh and intriguing information. One of Jupiter's 53 known moons, Europa, for example, was discovered to contain an estimated 60 miles or more of cracks in its icy crust. A gravitational slingshot gave the spacecraft a final speed boost of 35,700 miles per hour as they left the Jupiter system, an important maneuver that enabled them to make it into interstellar space. The Voyagers parted ways as they reached Saturn. After flying by Titan, a moon shrouded in an orange haze, and through Saturn's magnificent rings and hundreds of impacts from microscopic dust particles. Voyager 1 left the planet's plane and headed north. In 1986, Voyager 2 completed its own voyage and arrived at Neptune and Uranus. Voyager 2's mission to Uranus yielded 10 new moon discoveries and elevated the planet to the status of a solar system world with rings. However, tragedy eclipsed the accomplishments of Voyager 2. The Space Shuttle Challenger tragically exploded shortly after liftoff, killing all seven crew members, including New Hampshire high school teacher Krista McAuliffe, who was scheduled to become the first civilian space traveler. Just four days after it made its closest approach to Uranus, with winds as fast as 1,000 miles per hour, Voyager 2 experienced the fastest winds ever recorded on any planet in our solar system. As it soared nearly 2,800 miles above the breathtaking blue methane sky of Neptune, the largest moon of Neptune, Triton, with surface temperatures as low as minus 235 degrees Celsius, making it one of the coldest places in our cosmic neighborhood. Another amazing discovery was the frozen volcanoes on the moon, which spewed nitrogen gas and tiny particles up to five miles into the atmosphere. Following the captivating visuals of Neptune and its moons captured by Voyager 2, both spacecraft were supposed to switch off their cameras, thus concluding their official missions. But then, the imaging team member for the expedition, astronomer Carl Sagan, stepped in. NASA had extended the project in the hopes that the Voyagers would go beyond interstellar space. Even though the Grand Tour was officially over, the spacecraft were renamed the Voyager Interstellar Mission and were scheduled to continue their trip into space. In 1990, Sagan convinced NASA to allow Voyager 1 to capture a final set of pictures. On Valentine's Day, after reorienting its cameras to face the inner solar system, the spacecraft took 60 last pictures. One of these pictures, which Carl Sagan is credited with calling the pale blue dot, showed Earth from an incredible 3.8 billion miles away. The image shows Earth as a tiny speck, scarcely discernible against the blackness of space, lit by a sliver of sunlight reflected off the optics of the camera. It's amazing to see how different and fascinating every planet and moon in our solar system is even the furthest distant ones we've learned so much about them. Voyager's journey beyond the heliosphere in August 2012, Voyager 1 broke beyond the heliosphere, a large area of charged particles released by the sun, marking an amazing milestone. The next year, a research sharing Voyager 1's astounding discovery was published in the journal Science, making this incredible feat publicly known. A strong solar eruption was observed by the spacecraft's plasma wave instrument between April 9th and May 22, 2013. Electrons close to Voyager 1 vibrated as a result of this event, indicating that the spacecraft had entered an area with a higher particle density than that which is present just inside the heliosphere. 
The fact that interstellar space has a higher electron density than the solar vicinity may seem unexpected at first. The electron density near the heliosphere border is far lower than it is at the surface of Earth, according to researchers. After examining the data from Voyager 1, scientists determined that August 25th, 2012 was the official departure date. This conclusion was supported not just by electron oscillations but also by observations of charged solar particles that the spacecraft had gathered on that momentous day. The Voyager team was extremely proud and happy to hear this news. Project manager Suzanne Dodd conveyed the team's excitement, saying, We are thrilled to have been able to continue operating Voyager and to see it accomplish the milestone of interstellar space. The achievement has led to new discoveries in our understanding of space. According to Ed Stone, a key player in the Voyager mission since its inception, he stated, Voyager has led us to new discoveries by giving us the first view of this new region, by extending our scientific understanding of the nature of energy and radiation in space. Scientists are gaining new information from Voyager's ongoing mission to better simulate how our solar system interacts with the rest of the galaxy. It's important to remember that in November 2018, Voyager 2 also entered interstellar space, exploring unexplored regions outside of the sun's shield, which protects us from cosmic radiation. The really amazing news, though, comes from Voyager 1, the most distant man-made object in orbit. NASA's Voyager 1 probe has been sending important data back to Earth for an amazing 46 years. Though its primary mission has long ago completed, the probe is still functioning despite having traveled a record-breaking 14.7 billion miles. But this is when it really gets interesting. Recently, Voyager 1 made an incredible finding that has scientists puzzled and deeply concerned. During Voyager 1's spaceflight, something remarkable happened. It started sending information back to NASA about an irregularity in both the data it was receiving and its course. Information regarding an enigmatic phenomena that defied explanation was contained in the signals. The anomaly appeared to indicate the presence of a large, as yet undiscovered object that was causing a strong gravitational pull that was warping the spacecraft's trajectory. The scientific community was completely rocked by this discovery. This discovery has led to a lot of conjecture and theory building. Is it a black hole, a renegade planet, or something quite different? The ramifications are astounding. If verified, this recently discovered item may pose a challenge to our basic conception of the universe. An emergency scientific team from NASA has been assembled to look into the matter further. They will use every resource at their disposal to examine the data and may even reroute Voyager 1 to collect additional data. Voyager 1's journey took an unexpected turn, but it also served as a reminder of the endless mysteries that exist beyond Earth and the unwavering spirit of exploration that propels people to search for answers in the deep reaches of space. With three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, Voyager's ongoing mission was expected to last between 4 and 12 years. Voyager 1 has amazingly outperformed expectations by carrying out its mission for an astounding 45 years. The heat produced by the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 powers the radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which create electricity in contrast to solar panels. NASA predicts that by 2025, the Voyager spacecraft may not be able to produce enough power to run their equipment and send data back to Earth. Despite their amazing durability, something remarkable happened. While using NASA's massive deep space network antennas for routine communication with Voyager 1, the spacecraft had been sending data continuously for more than 40 years. When NASA's computers on Earth started to receive an odd signal that made everyone nervous, for the first time throughout the voyage, Voyager 1 came to an abrupt stop and made a full 180 degrees spin. Scientists and engineers were shocked and concerned by this unanticipated maneuver. They were perplexed, not knowing why the spaceship was acting in such an unusual way. Voyager 1 was initially unresponsive to NASA's directives but it has since started returning precise data that has shocked and alarmed experts alike. According to the data, Voyager 1's trajectory has been disturbed by a large, previously unknown object that is exerting an enormous gravitational attraction. There is now a race against time to ascertain the nature of this object and how it relates to our understanding of the cosmos.